Okay, so before I get started on this, I had made a promise a while back. The scene in the first Avengers movie where Loki throws Tony Stark out of a window, one of the pieces of glass from that window is right here. Oh, isn't it beautiful? All right, let's talk about Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 3. Okay, first of all, I'm gonna give you a spoiler warning because the season just wrapped up and I am gonna talk about some of the spoilers, so you've been warned. So in Season 3 of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., they did some things that I actually really wasn't a fan of. I'm gonna put it like this. Season 2 introduced a totally new concept to not just Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., but the entire MCU. That was in Humans. They introduced that whole new concept and they gave it a whole new story and it was really interesting. In Season 3, they really didn't introduce anything new. It was just more in Humans and we gotta do more stuff with that. We gotta keep them a secret, and the Secret Warriors thing, that was actually pretty cool. That episode called The Team, where you see the Secret Warriors doing their thing, that was awesome. There were a few episodes in here that I thought were masterfully done, like the episode, what was it called, 4,722 hours, where it's just Simmons on that other planet, and the entire episode is her just surviving, like, Tomb Raider style. Like, seriously, Gemma Lara Croft. That shit was awesome. And then Simmons came back to Earth, and everything's good again. I love the whole Fitzsimmons romance, because it's like Ron and Hermione, because, like, you've been waiting for it, and waiting for it, and when they finally kiss in Deathly Hallows Part 2, you're like, yay! This is like the same kind of deal, because when you first met them back in Season 1, you're like, okay, these two have been best friends, you know they're gonna be a romantic item at some point. And when they finally kiss, like halfway through Season 3, I think it was, you're like, you know what, yeah, you guys have earned it, you deserve it. And I totally like it because it's those really cute, awkward moments. Everyone's a sucker for those cute, awkward moments. I liked Hive too. Before I talk about that, let's talk about Ward. Of course, everybody hates Ward, and when they go to the other planet to rescue Gemma, everyone's there, Coulson and Ward and Fitz and everyone. I thought, okay, if anyone should kill Ward in the show, I think it should be made because she deserves it the most. Because they were sleeping together in season one. But no, I guess it had to be Coulson. He just crushed his bones in, like, you're like, ooh. But then the body of Ward was taken over by this inhuman parasite called Hive. And Brett Dalton actually did a really good job of acting like another character. It was Ward's body walking around, but it was Hive's mind which still contains the memory of every single body it's inhabited before it, which I think is pretty neat. And his whole spiel is that he's gonna take a giant chunk of the population of the world and turn them into all s enslaved inhumans. And one of the cool things Hive can do is that he can literally just, like Loki's staff, he can enslave people. And so he takes Sky or Daisy as she's now called. And that's where I thought the season got pretty interesting, actually. Because after Daisy got free of her enslavement, she was so deep in regret and, like, almost suicidal, even? That was some hard shit to watch, because you've been with this character since the very beginning of season one and to see her come this far and she's just so like she's at her lowest low she's like I don't deserve to be saved people are talking to her like yeah you were under control I get it you know it's not your fault but she doesn't care even at a point she goes up to Hive she's like take me back you're like Daisy no her life is really messed up at this point and to add on to that she had this vision of someone on the team is going to die probably at the end of the season that's where the whole fallen agent thing came into play and I'm about to say who it is so if you really don't want spoilers here's your last chance to leave okay the character of Lincoln is a character I actually never really cared that much for. It's funny, in her vision, you saw the cross and you saw the jacket, and throughout the entire, like, last few episodes, the cross and jacket went from character to character to character, and you're like, oh no, that person's gonna die, oh no, that person, oh no, that person. What a fucking tease. I get that over the course of the season, you were probably supposed to become attached to Lincoln, but I never really did, because the truth is, this season was not all that interesting. There would be some weeks that would go by where I wouldn't watch, and then I would have to catch up a few weeks later. But Daisy and Lincoln's romance you saw coming from a mile away because look at them. Just makes me less interested. So when Lincoln was in the Quinjet with Hive, he's going up there to space, and I was like, oh, okay. I mean, yeah, it was tragic, and they really played up the emotions very well. The scene was very well done, daisies and tears, so I thought the scene was done really well, I just didn't really care for Lincoln at all. This season definitely had some misfires. It had some really cool shit, like Hive and Fitzsimmons, but the big bummer is that the Inhumans movie that was going to be at the end of Phase 3, that movie was scrapped. Like, that movie's not happening anymore, or at least not until after Phase 3, which I think shouldn't happen at all. So I think now in season four, they gotta go in a completely different direction like they did in season two. Introduce something else brand new. I don't know, bring in a Spider-Man villain or something. Maybe Craven the Hunter's going after Inhumans or something. I don't know. Hey, go ahead and use that. So Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season three had some cool stuff. It had a lot of stuff that I didn't find all that interesting. It's kind of trudging along at this point, and I really hope they pick it back up in season four. So Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. season three, have you watched it? What did you think about it? Whatever you think, go ahead and leave a comment. And don't forget to subscribe.